So you guys have been asking for an update video, and well, this is how the hardcore world has gone so far. As you can see, I do have a beautiful, beautiful totem of undying, and technically we have died in this world, but was beautifully saved by this totem because that is, uh, well, that's, that's one of the advancements called post-mortem. Um, but anyways, <laughs> we still have yet to die. This is our hardcore world, and boy, is it just looking more and more beautiful but something that i've done recently during the live streams is uh well i started using shaders again and uh let's just go ahead and switch that rtx on well, it's not really rtx but yeah rtx we, we can go ahead and turn it on how about now and just like that shaders are on wow man it never ceases to surprise me how just mind-boggling our room is looking and i can't believe we spent all of this time we have over 500 days 550 days in this world of course over six hour or six days of irl time six irl days worth of gameplay yeah let's open this door and let's just take a look look at this let's talk about some of the cool things that we have worked on so far so over here is the first area, of course, that we built up. And still, this area is absolutely fantastic. Even with shaders, it's beautiful. Over here, of course, our fish is still in the tank that we put here last episode. Meowzin is still going strong, sitting over there. Mittens is still a jerk. I don't know what is wrong with Mittens. But Bowser's here. Also, texture pack. I wish I could give it out, but I unfortunately cannot give this texture pack out. It's a texture pack that I made quite a while ago that uh, kind of includes some textures from mods and stuff that I put together. Also utilizing uh, some different dog textures and things like that that I had found. All of that put together with Optifine allows me to be able to uh, have custom dogs in the game, which is pretty nice. Um, now, let's talk about this area that we've been working on for the last few live streams. I mean, this is Villager Valley and uh, we're still in the process of working on Villager Valley. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna, we're gonna talk about that here in a second, but over here we have Muffins, who is still going strong. Muffins is still a happy camper. Of course, our fully auto storage system is still up and running. And of course, back here is our full, uh, fully functional super smelter, or I guess you can call it a super smelter. Let's jump over here though. This is where the business end of everything started happening. I don't know if I've, uh, showed you guys this yet. Um, like I said, this has become a Twitch video thing. I have added the uh, thing that allows heads to spawn in. Nothing in this world that I have added though um, is affects the hardcore ability of this world. I still, if I die, I die. Like I die, the world's gone. Um, as you can see, still working on irons, but you might notice the poppies are gone because I have them auto filtering over here using the same filtering system that we were using for our item sorter over there. All of that is still functioning over here. And, uh, yeah, this, I'm showing you this at night because I wanted you to see that, uh, see what our statues look like. Oh, these statues are so good looking. Um, these are our villager statues and they're holding emeralds. They have some, uh, glowstone in their mouth. Um, I did find these statues online and I was like, oh, you know what? I should be able to take this and this will work perfect for our village valley. So I tried my best to recreate them as best as I could. Um, they're not perfect, but I tried. Um, and over here, if we can avoid creepers, this is our subscriber hall. So if you do subscribe to me over on Twitch, um, while I'm actively playing, a head spawns in, unless your Twitch name does not match. But then again, I do ask you after that point for your username, and then I'll spawn a head in for you. So that way you guys can be plastered on this wall and uh, get yourself immortalized in this world. Um, so we're working towards it. Last stream, by the way, I built this, which is a giant tower in the middle. Over here, we have our iron traders that we can trade all of our iron and get emeralds for. This is stuff that I've been working on, changing all of this. Right back here, we have our concrete room in which we uh, we plop down in here and we start to harvest concrete. And it's just a safe room, so we don't have to worry about anything bugging us or bothering us or coming in here and killing us like a creeper. Over here, I, I built a giant dome. So uh, this was a massive dome, by the way, that we built. Uh, completely finished and then I destroyed it <laughs> I destroyed it and made it look sort of ancient 
And that was the idea around it. Of course, during the stream, I didn't let anybody know why I was building this massive dome. And then after I finished building it, I'm like, yeah, next stream, we're destroying it. <laughs> this is um, another project that I just started. This is going to be for the bees and all of our beehives and stuff. It's going to be our bee sanctuary that's going to be back here in this room. Like I said, this is still called Villager Valley. So we still have some more villagers and stuff to get in here. Um, back on this area is where I plan on getting some auto farms set up. So some actual auto farms, not farms like this, even though these are semi-auto. I want some actual auto villager farms. That's going to be kind of cool. And uh, over here was a temporary cocoa beam farm. Uh, we tried to capture a creeper and name tag it, but I, uh, I failed. <laughs> so that's my failure spot. I kind of left it. Uh, but yeah, these are the towers and stuff from this giant, like, overarching dome that we built. Um, and of course, I did spawn in a bunch of these. Uh, I'm at, like about 77% completed on the advancements. So we're getting getting pretty far. This is where I harvest all of the vines to be able to make some of the mossy cobble and stuff that you see. Mossy stone brick. All of that fun stuff. So definitely some pretty cool things. Now, of course, I still need to show you the nether and end. This is our farms that are still up and running. Like we are producing so much stuff. I can't even keep up with the villagers. We would have blocks and blocks upon blocks of emeralds. And look at, would you, would you look at that? That is a legendary mob, a legendary monster right there. Look at this guy, a spider jockey just shows up out of nowhere. Excuse me, you're, you're killing your rider there. Oh, and it's got a flame bow. How cool is that? Um, yeah, speaking of uh, flame bow and stuff, uh, we do, we did do a raid. So we finally did a raid and that's how I have my uh, totem of undying. Actually, I have several totems of undying from doing that single raid. It was really fun. And I really noticed that having this armor is pretty nice. Um, Netherite is nice because I got blown up by a creeper over here with my elytra on and it blew up right next to me and left me with half a heart still. And I still had my, my total of undying, so I technically wouldn't have died. But the fact that it left me with half heart gives me hope that having protection three on all these pieces of armor could save me from a creeper blowing up in my face. Because diamond armor, that's not the case. It, I've died to a creeper blowing up in my face wearing full stack diamond armor and an elytra. And it's, it's not good. So this right here is Dinkleberg. Um, I also have some perks. Uh, by the way, you guys can spawn in like little pets and stuff that kind of uh, spawn from me. Um, using channel points and stuff over on Twitch and uh, same goes for name tagging things. Of course, I'd like to in I like to include some like interactivity stuff. So if you haven't seen my stuff over at Twitch, be sure to check it out. It is, of course, is of course uh, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. And um, I'm a partner streamer. So, uh, of course, you, you should expect nothing but awesomeness. And I do stream uh, four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays and Fridays. And uh, that's yeah, that's when I usually go live. Let's go ahead, by the way, and take a look at the nether with these beautiful shaders on. Oh boy, this is, uh, this looks good. I love the reflections off the glass and the smokiness of the glass gets with shaders. The nether though is, is just horrifying. I don't even want to look at the nether, <laughs> but over here, um, I do have some boats. Let me throw a boat down and we are going to ride along. This looks so much better with shaders on because the light sort of reflects off the glass. Oh, it's so cool looking. Especially with like the gas walking in the distance. Oh boy, and the curvature of the world because of course Minecraft isn't flat. You can totally see the curvature right there. I don't know what you guys are talking about saying that Minecraft's flat. Come on now. And of course our glass wall still scares everybody when I walk up to it. But this is beautiful. I absolutely love the way this turned out and just walking right up into our portal. Oh, it's so good. By the way, be sure to get your world download. I'm going to have it linked down below. This is a time for me to get this world download up for you guys. Um, but yeah, our mob farm is still working phenomenally down there. It still looks fantastic. And uh, all of the Endermen spawn down there. It works so good. And this right here still looks just as good as it did last time. But with shaders, oh, it looks even cooler. It looks like a, a, a totally new area with all the lamps and everything kind of put to the side. Looks like they were actually placed there. Like it's, it's just, I, I'm loving this world. I'm loving playing it. 
And uh, I'm so glad that I get to share the uh, the experience with you guys every time I live stream because I'm, I'm having a blast. Also, let's go ahead and uh, jump up here and let's just take a look at our, our area up here. It's just, we haven't really looked at it during the day and this is it. Yes, this was a full rainbow setup. I ended up placing rainbow glass basically through the whole thing. And then, like I said, I destroyed it. Um, up here, I haven't put anything in the tower yet. I still don't know what to do with the tower, but it does have a beacon flowing straight through it. So that is a thing. And of course we had to break everything and have the foliage and the lanterns are rocking and everything. Oh, just everything looks really good with these shaders on. It's just, it blows me away every time. Popping back up here, as you can see, the more of the statues. It's just, mm, I'm loving this area. Villager Valley has really turned out to be something else. I can't believe we, we took an area that had absolutely nothing in it and we've turned it into this paradise. So guys, if you want this world download, of course, you can check the link down in the uh, description below. Um, and uh, all you need to do is be a Patreon of a dollar or higher. Uh, any Patreon is uh, is able to download this world. So uh, be sure to check that out. It'll be linked down in the description below. Also, if you guys are on Twitch or you guys haven't checked me out on Twitch and want to watch this series live, be sure to do that. But I also have a second channel. If you want to catch the nice highlights of everything, you can go to youtube.com forward slash chosen live. It is also in the description. It's my second channel where I post all of my Twitch VODs. And yes, they are edited, so you're not watching the full thing. It's almost like a regular YouTube video, the way they're being put together. So I recommend checking that out. Uh, we're about to hit, I think, 7,000 subscribers over there, so pretty crazy. And I would appreciate if you would check that out. Guys, thank you so much for, uh, for watching. And uh, well, I hope to see you in the next live stream, of course. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.